This is a 13 Wham News Update. Good afternoon, I'm Ginny Ryan. We are breaking in with new information about to emerge in a suspected bomb plot involving suspects from Greece. We will return to General Hospital shortly. We go live now to Greece Police Headquarters for that news conference. Uh, we begin an interview of uh, the student um, with, the, with the photograph and the student who was referred to. So the, uh, security began an, an, an interview of two students at the school uh, based on this comment. Uh, school security also involved the Greece Police Department almost immediately. Um, through the interview of these two students, uh, a third person of interest was developed who was not a student, um, who was older, not of school age. Uh, this individual was identified um, and he was, uh, he, we, we spoke to him, we brought him to the Greece Police Department. Uh, we eventually brought the other two students to the Greece Police Department. Uh, and through our investigation, we uncovered uh, what we allege in our felony complaints of a, a plot to attack an Islamic community in Delaware County uh, known as Islam Burke. We have team coverage tonight. Amanda Valdez uncovering new details about the 16-year-old charged. Antoinette Del Bell standing by. She spoke with the mother of one of the suspects who was coming to his defense. Andrew Banus will join us live from Islamburg, the community that was targeted in the alleged plot. We begin, though, with Jane Flash with the tip that led police to this case. Jane. Well, after allegedly plotting for just about a month, the group had amassed 23 firearms and built three explosives. It all crumbled because of a remark a student made in the cafeteria on Friday. Police say the 16-year-old showed off a photo in the lunchroom at Odyssey and made a remark, this is the next school shooter. Someone turned him in. These students came forward with information supporting the idea that if you see something, you say something. Their actions changed the narrative. Police recovered the alleged explosive devices from the 16-year-old's home on Milford Street. According to court papers, a mason jar, a medium-sized cylinder, and a large cylinder, each wrapped in duct tape. They were homemade bombs um, with various items, uh, black powder, BBs, nails, that type of thing, in, inside a container. Police say Vincent Vetromiel, Andrew Chrysell, and Brian Colinari communicated the plot through a gaming app called Discord. After executing warrants at five locations, police, the ATF, and FBI recovered 23 firearms plus computers and cell phones. We got a peek at their phones during the investigation. We, we, we did see some material that was, I would say, disturbing and suspicious. Federal terrorism charges may be next. We go forward um, because we can do it quickly on the state side and we'll secure um, indictments and then we'll work with the feds. Three of the men were fellow Boy Scouts, two rising to the highest rank of Eagle Scout. If they had carried out this plot, which every indication is that they were going to, um, you know, people would have died. Now, those explosives are being tested by the FBI at their lab in Quantico, Virginia, to see if they were actually capable of detonating. Police say the four could face additional charges, and we may see more arrests in this. Well, thank you, Jane. As Jane pointed out, police say the three explosives were found at the Greece home of the fourth suspect, whose name has not been released because of his age. 13 Wines, Amanda Valdez was there as the 16-year-old suspect was brought into court today. Amanda? Yeah, Don, the 16-year-old suspect went before a judge late today. He did smile at his mom and his dad, who were sitting front row inside of that courtroom there as a sign of support for their son. Now, we are told that he was arraigned on Saturday on charges of criminal possession of a weapon and conspiracy. Judge John DeMarco set his bail at $1 million, expressing concern about what could have happened had this alleged plan come to fruition. Now, police say the 16-year-old student made alarming comments to appear at school last week who then told an adult jump-starting this investigation.
We are also incredibly grateful about the young people who refuse to stand idly by. As a community, the situation reinforces the idea that safety is not the responsibility of one person or a small group. We must all do our part to ensure the safety of others. And we did ask the 16 year old suspect's attorney if he would comment after court, but he declined. For now, now to Islamburg, the Muslim community believed to be the target of this uh, alleged attack is located about 50 miles east of Binghamton, down near the Pennsylvania border. People who live there say this is not the first time their community has been targeted. 13 West Andrew Banus live in Islamburg and continuing our team coverage tonight. Andrew. Yeah, Don, I'm standing just up the road from that community, and we're learning more about it tonight. It's in a very rural area here in the town of Tompkins, right on the New York State-Pennsylvania border. And we've learned today that this community was established in the late 1980s. It is a gated community. There is a guard that lets vehicles... grocery store, its own place of worship, and neighbors here say they're welcomed here. They support them here and they live in peace with them here. Uh, but like you said, this is not the first time that this community has been the target of an attack. Back in June of 2017, a Tennessee man was arrested after police say he was plotting an attack on Islamburg. He's now serving 20 years in prison. Now, a nearby town, just a few minutes up the road, Hancock, the town supervisor there, tells me he's been invited to this community. He says the people there are very friendly. They've fed him and other local community leaders, and he says he doesn't understand why anyone would target this area. I don't know why, for the life of me, why anyone would single these folks out. I really don't. It's like I said, they're very, they're very good neighbors, and I. I I have no, I don't know how else to say it. Like I said, I would invite them down for dinner. I'd go up there and have dinner with them or interact with them the same as I would anyone else. And a spokesperson for Islamburg tells me there will be a press conference in Binghamton tomorrow at about three o'clock. They're going to be giving a statement about this entire ordeal that's coming up tomorrow. We'll bring you the very latest then. For now, reporting live from the town of Tompkins, New York, Andrew Banus, 13 Wham News. All right, thank you, Andrew. And uh, Amanda and Antoinette, uh, Jane as well. Complete coverage from our 13 Wham News team on the major developing story. We're going to be following this, of course, through the evening, throughout the week as well. Just to recoup, four men charged in that plot to attack a Muslim community using IEDs in Islamburg, New York, that is east of Binghamton. Police say they found three homemade bombs, 23 firearms in multiple homes. A Greece student credited with tipping police off to this alleged plot. See something, say something. And if you stay with 13 Wham News, we promise you team coverage will continue tonight on 13 Wham News at 10 and 11 o'clock.